praise God for the ministry of the Oakwood University Aeolians. We praise God for their ministry this academic year. Give them another round of applause, everybody. Praise God. I say it all the time. I think we take them for granted. But what a privilege and blessing it is to have them minister consistently here at the church. We're winding down. and I told you I'm not going to be long today. But I want to say... that you all know that I have been a prime believer over the years, particularly since I've been here and even prior to, that God has called us not just to minister to each other. Now, there are some who would just like for us to sing to each other, preach to each other, and teach to each other because we carry the mantra, ain't nobody right but us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But a long time ago, God told me and showed me that our ministry must be extend beyond the walls of the church. And so I don't merely see this ministry or my pastorate as limited to the Oakwood University Church on this campus. But I believe that God has blessed that our ministry extends throughout Huntsville and beyond. And so today, I am happy, and I know you as a church family are happy, to honor and recognize one of our community residents today. Before James Shaw Jr. was in a Waffle House restaurant bathroom, restroom, the Lord saw fit and his life was navigated in such a way that James Shaw Jr. and his two sisters, under the guidance, unction, direction of their parents, they all were students at our school. What do you mean? They were enrolled at F.H. Jenkins Seventh-day Adventist Preparatory Elementary School in Nashville, Tennessee. The legend says that James Jr., you were a student at Hillcrest Child Development Center on 25th Avenue North in Nashville. Now, that's important. I used to pastor in Nashville, the South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church in Antioch on Tusculum Road off of Nolansville. So you all are familiar where that is. But I'm told a lady who's a wonderful lady, Shirley Wilson, was your teacher. Another lady, a pastor's wife, Karen Black, was your first grade teacher and it's a joy for us to be able to say not only you are a part of our community but you are a part of us let no one think that foundations good ones for our young people do not think they are not rooted in seven day Adventist church school and I praise God for that Praise God for your parents. But I was elated to hear uh, of the connection. But more than that, that a young man was willing with courage and with bravery to protect himself, not knowing not only you protect yourself, but countless other individuals who could have been adversely impacted by the gentleman on Sunday morning, April the 22nd, at that Waffle House restaurant. So today, James Jr., James Sr., and his wife, and his sisters, and Brooklyn is asleep now, Brooklyn's mom, we welcome you to the Oakwood University Seventh-day Adventist Church. We welcome you to Huntsville, Alabama. 
This is the Mecca of Seventh-day Adventism among black people. And we are proud that you are here with us today. Thank you all for responding to, I want to call her my intermediary, my godmother, and responding to the call to come and be with us today. Many of you know what has transpired, but for those that don't know, uh, let's look at this clip just for a moment. As for James Shaw Jr., he was uh, grazed by a bullet in his arm. His hand was also burned when he grabbed a hot barrel of the AR-15. Today, the Oakwood University Church honors James Shaw Jr., Nashville, Tennessee resident and local hero. It was on Sunday morning, April 22nd, 2018, at the Waffle House restaurant in Antioch, Tennessee, when a gunman opened fire in the restaurant, killing four individuals and wounding four others. When the shooter opened fire, Shaw hid in the restaurant restroom, and it was there he determined to take it upon himself to prevent the gunman from taking any more lives, including his own. There's a hero, I don't know what his name is, but there's a gentleman who was in there who when this guy stopped to reload or stopped to do something with his gun, he took that opportunity and wrestled with this guy until the gun went flying and then the dude took off running. The gunman ran away, evading capture for 36 hours until he was finally apprehended. At 1.07 this afternoon, Travis Reinking was taken into custody by members of the police department specialized investigations division's narcotics unit. That day, Shaw saved not only his life, but the lives of countless others. I don't know who this guy is. I talked to him afterwards and told him you are a hero man because had that guy reloaded, there was plenty more people in that restaurant that probably could have not made it home this morning. His response to all of this. I'm, I'm not a hero. Um, I'm just a regular person. Um, and I think <laughs> I was completely doing it just to save myself. Now, me doing that, I did save other people, but I don't want people to think that I was the Terminator or Superman or anybody like that. I figured if I was going to die, he was going to have to work for it. Today, the Oakwood University Church is proud to recognize a modern-day hero. Although James Shaw Jr. doesn't call himself one, we want to say thank you. And may God continue to bless you. I'd like to invite the pastoral staff, if you join me. Brother Mike Brown, Chief of Security here for our church. Elder Long. Will our hero, James Shaw Jr., come to the rostrum at this time? The brothers from Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, if you would come. Now we're going to give you some gifts, but I want to say on behalf of all of us, the residents of Huntsville, the Oakwood University Church, and the greater Adventist community. We're proud of you. And we thank you. So we, we have some things that we want to present to you. Uh, we'll begin first with the church, and then the brothers will do what they do. Presented to James Shaw Jr. for your heroic courage and bravery shown in the face of danger. Oakwood University Church, a Seventh-day Adventist congregation, 
Dr. Carlton Bird, senior pastor, April 28, 2018. Now, James, there'll be some groups that will say to you, uh, we're praying for you and we are praying for you, but we're going to do more than pray for you. We understand that you have started a GoFundMe account to help the victims' families. It has over $180,000 already from Breath of Life and the Oakwood University Church. We want to give this to you. Now, be clear, that gift's for you. We'll give to the victims' families. We will. But that gift's for you. Um, if you have to buy a new suitcase as you travel across the country, a, a, night, a new suit, whatever you have to do, if you want to take your parents and your sisters out for dinner, all of that is fine. But you decide what you want to do because we thank you and we love you. I'm going to invite his parents, his sisters, this, no, but I have something for you. You know, we, we have it. Enter it. She said, oh, I have something for you. You'll come on up then, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask our interns and Sister Shelley Vaughn if you would come. We don't just give to you, we got gifts for everybody. Amen. I had a conference president who used to tell me, uh, we've got to be first class and heaven bound. We can't be no class and hell bound. I'm going to ask the brothers, Alpha Phi Alpha, if they would come at this time. like to make this presentation to Brother James Shaw Jr. It says on behalf of the brothers of the District of Alabama and the Delta Theta Lambda chapter, we bring greetings. Thank you for your heroic actions last week during the terrible shootings at a Nashville area Waffle House restaurant. You truly embody the meaning of Alpha Phi Alpha. First of all, servants of all. May God bless you and your family, and we present this on the 28th day of April, 2018. Thank you, Brother Shaw. Now our, he's not going to be long, but about three weeks ago, he gave us a, Brother Mike, our security head here at the church, gave us a training on security. And ironically, the very thing that you did is what he told us we needed to do. You did it. <laughs> but Mike, share a word. As the pastor said earlier this month, I did a presentation on an active response as opposed to a passive response to an active shooter situation. And Mr. Shaw, you exemplified that in spades. Thank you for that. And guys, this should be an example for all of you out there. If a similar situation arises, think active response. Your life could depend on it.
Hello, everyone. So I'm not quite used to uh, to speaking yet. I'm just a engineer slash technician. Uh, I want to thank you all for your um, how kind and gracious you are to me. Um, you all don't even know me, and y'all are on your feet, and uh, it means a lot. Um, um, <laughs> I would never wish that on anybody, that you would have to do that, but if it comes a time, take hold of the opportunity and go with it. I just have two questions I want you to share. Uh, we'll have a press conference later, but tell the church what you were thinking in that restroom. Um, so after I got grazed by the bullet, um, I was thinking I should just keep an eye on him. And uh, I became completely relaxed. And uh, he put the barrel down and a voice in my head said, do it now. You said in a news clip, you don't feel like a hero. Why? So I don't feel like a hero because when you think of a hero, you think immediately of Batman or Superman or some people, Goku or somebody like that. Um, a hero is fictional. If you're ever in that position, I hope you can emulate, imitate things that I did and see that fire that I had in myself and I want you to do that, bring that same fire out of yourself and that way you can think of a regular guy because he did it, that I can do it. And also, also, if you call me a hero, it's kind of like, yes, I saved people's lives, but there are four people also that passed. So if you give me the responsibility of saving those people's lives, I have also the responsibility of having the people that pass. So it's not a, it's not a great thing, but it's not a bad thing either. But I do thank you all for everything you have done for me. Let's give Brother James Shaw Jr. his family. The brothers from Alpha Phi Alpha, another big round of applause of affirmation today. They're going to be with us throughout the service as well as the press conference later. So we will have time in an orderly way to exchange and engage. One more time, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> 